and she has a friend called Huntley, and he's going to be speaking with her about <laughs> how old is God. Oh, <laughs> uh, how old is God? Well, that's quite a question, Huntley. Let's see. Um, I'll give you an example. Let's say you took, um, if you took a pile of grain as high as the Empire State Building, and every thousand years you had a bird fly by and take one grain uh, uh, from the pile until it was all gone, you probably have used up uh, about one second of God's life. Whoa, he's almost as old as Tester Horn. <laughs> yeah, a, a, little, a little older, I think. <laughs> you see, Hunley, God's never had a beginning. He never started. He's just always been. Whoa, well, that's kind of hard to understand. Yes, it certainly is. It certainly is. But he made the world and the sun and the moon and the stars and all living things, including you and me. But uh, we're not really very old compared to God, right? Well, absolutely. And God was a long, long, long time before we ever got on the scene. And he has no beginning and no ending. But Jesus had a beginning, didn't he? Well, yeah, he had a beginning uh, of being a human being, but he was around a long time before that. Will God ever end? Um, no. The Bible says in Psalm 102 that, his end, that God has no end. He'll never grow old, he'll never die, and he'll never change. Wow, that's a pretty good deal. <laughs> yes, it certainly is. But uh, doesn't the Bible say that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever? Yes, that's right. And do you know why that's important? Oh, yeah, because it means he'll never stop loving us critters. <laughs> that's right. Uh, can you think of maybe something that might stop him from lo loving you? Oh, uh, if I chew on his slithers? <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't think that. Oh, well, how about if I dig up Eugenia's veggie garden to bury my bones? No, I don't think that'll bother him either. <laughs> now, let's look at the Bible again. In, in Romans chapter 8, verses 38 and 39, the Bible says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Then it gives a whole long list of things that might. Well, can I help you say to them? Well, yeah, that, that would be great. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. All right, you start. Go ahead. All right, this is the list, right? This is the list. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Oh, uh, distress. Tribulation. Persecution. Famine. Nakedness. P peril. Principalities. Prin prin how come I always get the big words? <laughs> You're just lucky, I guess. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Things, excuse me, it's my turn. Things to come. Height, depth, and all kinds of other things. That's right. <laughs> well, what, what does it say at the end of this list? It says that none of these things will ever stop God from loving us. Why does God love people so much? Well, it was because of the price he paid. Because he showed lo his love to us in that while we were still sinners, his son Jesus died for us. He saved human beings from being punished for their sin, didn't he? Well, he sure did. But they have to ask him to be their savior. And can you imagine, though, that Someone was taking your place and dying for you when you were the one that was supposed to get the punishment? No, I, I really can't understand that either. <laughs> well, well, do people know uh, what they had to do to, to receive this gift of God's love? Well, that's what we're here for today. We're here to tell them that they need to ask Jesus to be their savior and need to ask him to come into their hearts and, and, and be their Lord. 
Well, uh, I tell you folks out there, get with it and ask Jesus to be your Savior right now. Now, can I sing my song while they're thinking about it? Well, okay, go ahead. It's a, it's, it's a difficult song for a dog, you know. Well, just do the best you can. Okay. I sing the goodness of the Lord that fills the earth with food like kittles and bits. Oh, okay. That's good. He eats on the creatures li like me. Like you, okay. With his word and then proclaim them good. Lord, how thy wonders are displayed where'er I turn my eye. I got two eyes. I, I know you got two eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and everywhere that men and critters can be, thou God art present there. Beautiful, beautiful. 